today's going to be a serious video though. Okay. So if, if you're here for me to joke around and to, to just, you know, be mean, have fun, this is not the video. So just please click away. Um, if you do want to stay though, this is going to be not only a reaction to Macklemore's Heinz Hall, but it's also going to be me discussing my own thoughts. Um, I'm going to try and keep it brief, but just for some background before we get started, I was born and raised a Muslim, and I've been hearing about this situation since I was a kid, you know, because that whole terrorist October 7th thing that triggered this whole war, war, well, I'm not going to call it a war to be honest, I don't know why I use that word, but that is just a singular event when Palestinians have been getting bullied since I was a kid. And, you know, some people might think I'm biased, and, and maybe I am in a way. Uh, I'm not sure. But what I can say is, uh, growing up, my best friend is Jewish, and we've talked about so many different things. We've we've never clashed when it came to, to this topic here. So it's very weird um, the way the governments have been treating people that are protesting the lives of innocent children. I'll, I'll put it that way. We're going to start this reaction. I don't want to ramble too hard at the start of the video. Just some context of who I am so you know that I might be biased, right? I'm, I'm always trying to, to not be biased, but I might be. Heinz Hall by Macklemore. Yeah. The people they won't leave What is threatening about divesting and want a peace The problem isn't the protest, it's what they're protesting It goes against what our country is funding Block The problem isn't the protest it's what they're protesting because it's going against where the money is. Um, isn't it funny how every single time protests happens, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, these people are violent. These people are disrupting. These people are blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you do understand the point of protesting is to disrupt to gain attention, to, to create the movement, right? To put some pressure on the politicians because look, um, the same cycle has been repeated many times, okay? Think about slavery, right? Think about where the money was coming from, right? Think about why people would be against liberating black people, right? Because of the money, free labor. It's all it's always been about the money, right? Think about um I don't know, females not being able to vote. Think about gay marriage being illegal. Think about all these things that have finally made it into policy now because of the protesting, you know? because of the loud minority, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but every time you hear people say the same thing and, and they're like, oh, the protests don't do anything. The protests are meaningless. It, it's a bit weird. I'm going to keep reacting to this, but it's a cycle that keeps repeating itself. It's crazy that the barricade until happening. Palestine is free. Block the barricade until Palestine is free. When I was seven, I learned a lesson from Cuban Easy E. What was it again? Oh yeah, fuck the police. Actors and badges protecting property in a system that was designed by white supremacy. But the people are in the streets. You could pay off Meta, you can't pay off me. Politicians who serve by any means. And what he means by you can pay off Meta is the censorship that's been going on. Um, I'm not even sure if this video is going to reach as much as my other videos because I'm using those key words that they look for. Um, so weird, so weird. But it's where the money's going, it's where the money's funded, it's the people who control the money. Fair. 
piece of shit to serve by any means. A pack, Kofi, and all the companies. You see, we sell fear around the land of the free. But this generation here is about to cut the strings. You can ban TikTok, take us out the algorithm, but it's too late. We've seen the truth, we bear witness. Seen the rubble, the buildings, the mothers, and the children, and all the men that you murdered. And then we see how you spin it. Who gets the right to defend and who gets the right of resistance is always. Who gets the right of resistance? Who gets to defend? Like, and then he says, "Here has always been about dollars." He's not wrong. He's not wrong. And let's let's shine some light on Macklemore for dropping this right in the heat of uh, one of the heaviest, most popular topics in in the in the beef that's going on. Right, Macklemore said, "You know what." Forget all that, I'm dropping this right now. And I hope people are loud enough to to not forget that this is happening. It's messed up. And it's really weird how the conversations that you have with people always begins with, but do you condemn the attack that Hamas did? Do you think I'm a psychopath? Of course I condemn it. But we're talking about a small group of powerful, funded terrorists, okay? So you, you need to look at where that money's coming from. You need to look at who's in control. You need to look at how this whole system is built, okay? Because it's not in isolation. They can't do this without money. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. But you have to see that they're a small minority making a large population pay for their crimes so like let me get this straight okay i go and do a drive-by on some some other house right so the police can go and just take out my whole family like am i am i not the one responsible for it like I and who gets the right of resistance has always been about dollars and the color of your pigment but white supremacy is finally on blast screaming free palestine to their home at last we see the lies and i'm claiming it's anti-semitic to be anti-zion that's i seen jewish brothers and sisters out there and vibing and so that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying it it's an unfortunate thing and i'm not gonna sit here and, and act like palestine or the innocent side okay Palestine is the weaker side that is getting absolutely bullied, right? Um, but there's still a lot of bad people there. There's still, and there's obviously, as we can tell, there's a lot of bad people in Israel as well. And it seems like the bad people of both countries are the ones running them. So how come we can be like, oh, we're not going to stop bombing gaza until hamas is done okay so why can't we kick out the israel government too for what they're doing right now right you know why is it only one-sided why like when they you guys do understand these people and i'm talking about palestinians okay um and i'm talking about kids too because they're mostly kids they've been told to evacuate using specific routes and then killed on those routes by missiles. Do you... <laughs> Are you serious? And then you're an anti-Semite if you protest that? Out there and vibing in solidarity and screaming free Palestine with them organizing and learning and finally cutting ties with the state that's gotta rely on apartheid system to uphold an occupying violent history been repeating for the last 75. The neck but never ended, the colonizer lied. If students in tents posted on the lawn, occupying the quad is really against the law. And the reason to call and the police and their squad were to genocide land in your definition, huh? Destroying every college in Gaza and every mosque, pushing everyone in the rock and dropping bombs the blood is on your hands biting we can see it all and fuck no i'm not voting for you in the fall undecided you can't twist the truth the people out here united never be defeated i understand we don't have good choices and i say we i'm not even american but you cannot you cannot vote for biden you need to make a statement you know and it sucks that the opponent is is horrible 
<laughs> it sucks that they're both horrible. I don't know how it keeps happening. Something is wrong. Something is wrong in the whole system. Um, and it's fueled by money. It's fueled by hate, you know, dividing two sides. And then the right side monetizing their their audience, the left side monetizing their audience, using that money to fund the politicians that get in power and to fund um, their advertising and all that so that they can get in power and the most dividing candidates are the one running again. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's a whole system. It's, this has not only shined light on the Israel and Palestine situation, but also the government. And I've done this in my Ren reactions where I've discussed these things as well, but uh, we're 12 minutes into this already on a three minute song. So I'm, I'm gonna press play. Sorry, I'm speaking slow. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm saying the right words instead of misspeaking or, or saying something that I don't really mean, you know? It all and fuck no, I'm not voting for you in the fall. Undecided, you can't twist the truth. The people out here united, never be defeated when freedom's on the horizon. Yet the music industry's quiet, complicit in their platform of silence. What happened to the artist? What you gotta say? If I was on a label, you could drop me today. I'll be fine with it, cause the heart fed my page. I want a ceasefire, fuck a response from Drake. What you willing to risk? What you willing to give? What if you were in Gaza? What if those were your kids? If the West was pretending that you didn't exist, you want the world to stand up, and the students finally did. Let's get it. Shout out to Macklemore. Um, spread the, spread his video around. You know, a anything that has to do with this, try and try and spread it around if you agree with it. If you don't agree with it, I'd like to know why. I'd like to know why the war has to be conducted in the way that it's being conducted. You know, and, and it's where tons of civilians are getting intentionally killed. Um, instead of focusing on mili military, t like, look, I I'm not against getting, like, <laughs> I'm not for terrorists, you know, like, it, it seems like a common argument for, for people that are on the other side of this coin here, where they're like, you're supporting terrorists? No, no. Get the terrorists out of Gaza as well. And I know it's hard, right? Uh, I've I've had this conversation before. There, I've had people tell me like, "How do you expect to get them out if it's not by force? If it's not through bombing them? If it's not through all this stuff?" And what I have to say is, if you don't care where you send the missile, fine, but don't pretend like you have the moral high ground. And that's what Israel is doing. They're pretending like they're the good guys, but they're not acting like the good guys. I understand it's hard to only target the terrorist locations. It's only it's hard to, to put boots on the ground when there's traps everywhere and it's well defended and it's a closed off city. I get that. But to be the good guys, you need to do the hard thing. You can't be the good guys and just splash missiles everywhere and hope you kill a few terrorists that way. Because you're creating some more in the future generation by doing this. You know? You're creating some more future terrorists. You're breeding them at this point. Um, and you're fueling the next war that's going to happen again once all those kids grow up. And now you have more terrorists than what you began with. That's all I have to say about that. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. I'm always open to conversation. I'm always open to to argue about these things please no hate on my page if you want to talk talk like a human being not not like some like totally gone illogical emotional person this is like a you know a conversation a smart one if you like the video like the video peace